everybody. This is Cupcake Baby 19. Um, ooh. I, bought, I tried doing this video so many times. Every time I tried to get her into the video, for some reason I had to go through up. So here I go again. Oh. I'm hoping this will be a quick, quick video. Um, <clears throat> so last week Monday, I went to the doctor, and he said that um, he had gotten um, all my records from the Harris pregnancy people, and they said that everything was fine with baby. She looked perfect. She was measuring good. The fluid around her was good. Um, I don't know if I told you guys that I had to do a thyroid test. and That's the reason too I was uh, sent over to the high risk pregnancy people because they thought that I may be having some thyroid issues. But um, they said, when I went, the doctor said that um, he didn't really find a concern um, because your thyroid levels are usually elevated during pregnancy anyway so what they did is they put me on like a steroid but I was skeptical of taking it but the thing is because the constant vomiting and stuff I wasn't able to keep the tablets down so I didn't take them um, but um, I go back to the high risk pregnancy people sometime next month I think maybe middle of next month and I go back to my regular OB on the I think the day of next month um, so that's good. Every, everything is good with baby. Um, with the vomiting. Uh, the vomiting has slowed down somewhat. Um, it's, well, I mean, I'm, I'm vomiting a lot still, but um, slow down comes, you know, a great deal um, from the 10 and 12 times a day. So that's a good thing. Um, I was able to eat this past week, so I tried to get all of the allergies. Um, I tried to, to get as much as I could, and I found that uh, my stomach is not as... Well, I'm not a big eater, but my stomach is very small, and I guess because I wasn't eating for so long. And it probably shrank somewhat, you know, that happens. So... I get full really, really, really fast. I mean, like, four front folds and I'm already full already. But I try to force a little bit because I know the baby. But what I'm finding now, I have to talk to my doctor about, I would eat something in the morning and I would feel full the whole day. And say, like, 3, three o'clock, I would vomit the same as I think I ate the morning. Because it was full and then I skipped afternoon and I would vomit what? I ate in the morning, which shouldn't be because that food should be somewhat digested, you know what I mean? <sighs> so, oh. prenatal. I tried, st I started um, at take more prenatals on Tuesday. Um, that was Tuesday, yeah. Um, I think it was Tuesday. Um, let me see. Yeah, Tuesday. I started back my prenatals, and uh, if you guys remember, I didn't take prenatals uh, from the time I think it was nine weeks because uh, it made no sense because um, I would vomit them right back up, so it made uh, no sense to take uh, prenatals. Um, so I'm trying to. back up where I left off. I'm sorry guys, I know I'm talking like probably really slow and stop and but I'm really not feeling well today. Having a lot of pains in my chest and I just finished throwing up and then I came and did this video so bear with me. Um
so far, um, I guess because I was able to eat last week, when I went to the doctor, they said that I had put on, I had gained two pounds, two whole pounds, whoa, uh, for this whole entire pregnancy, um, so far, um, considering I had a 25, um, pound weight loss, about, so, that was that, um, About, I think it was yesterday, yesterday, or the day before, I felt, I think it was maybe the day before, <coughs> I felt so bad. My husband came home and we were about to leave to go out, so I kept telling him it was a feeling well, so I need to go so I get some beer. Um, I don't know if I told you guys too, I have to move from my apartment because it's making me sick. And this is what my doctor had told me before he wanted me to move, because he thinks this apartment is making me sick. So... In the case I don't get to do videos for a few weeks or something, maybe weeks because we're running around looking for apartments or we're moving or whatever the case may be, so just bear with us. Uh, yeah, but uh, I was here and my husband came and we were about to go through the door and I was trying to pick myself on up and I'm telling you, like, it was like total blackness. I felt so bad and I had to sit quickly. It's like, if I didn't sit, I would have been on the floor. I don't know. It was very weird and very dizzy. But my mom told me that I should always take something I like to smell, you know, with me. Because when you're pregnant, you always feel nauseous or dizzy and, you, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, we didn't really buy anything this week. Um, the only thing we bought was a oh, stroller. Um, um, it was really my husband wanted to get her for so long and most places don't have it anymore so we got it this week at Target and it was the last one that they had uh, so we got the Ed, um, the Eddie Bauer stroller the Sinclair, I think there's a Sinclair uh, edition the, it's like black and gray and red or whatever but it's really really cute and I, I give him that because I'm picking out everything else the bed is everything he has no say, so I thought it was fair for him to pick his daughter's uh, stroller. <laughs> so, I'm not going to show you that in this video, don't make me in another video, because my house is so confused because we're trying to start up stuff because we know we have to move and stuff. Um, yeah, somebody was asking me if we were going to have a, a baby shower. Absolutely not. And <laughs> the reason I say that is because. Uh, I don't have friends or here. Um, uh, my husband hardly has friends. It's only the people he, only the people that he works with at work. So if you see me do a video and you hear me say somebody gave us this, it probably is because you know somebody one is workmates or something that did a, um, uh, you know, give him something for the baby. And uh, you know, I know his workplace probably would do like a, a shower or something, but. I don't want him because um, he, we live in one state and he works in another state and I can't take all that driving, you know. Oh, I want to congratulate everybody that had their BFPs. Good few of you got your BFPs uh, recently in the past few weeks. Uh, I can't remember everybody's names right now, but God will guide me one. I want to say congratulations to you. You are so deserving of it. and. Um, I hope that your baby continues to rise and your babies, our baby continues to stick and grow healthy and I wish you a healthy eight months pregnant because you're already past a month already so um, everybody who's still trying to conceive I um, want to wish you baby dust uh, those of you who are in your two week wait I'm praying with you uh, whether it be IUI, IVF whatever the case may be, naturally, whatever. Uh, thanks for everybody who subscribed. Um, and for anybody who, you know, people keep asking me about the mini IVF. If you guys want to know anything, just email me and I would send you the website of the people that I went to. Uh, yeah, if you guys want, I'll do that for you. Oh, I think the last thing I'm going to do is just show my belly. And I'll be out. So here is my belly. 
at 23 weeks, um, three days. Yeah, 23 weeks, three days. So that's it. Bye.